Hey guys, here's the project that I'll be creating. Come along with me as I make this step by step and show you the products I use. Let's go. So the products I'll be using today is the Mickey Mouse and Friends paper pad. I've had this for a long time and I love using this. As you can see, I've got lots of odds and ends in here, but it's a perfect for perfect paper for my project. I'm also using my main die here is this baby girl mini dress album. Isn't this cute? I'll be using pretty much the entire die as well as this card stand because I will be making a fun cute little picture print it out to and then i need a stand to hold the dress up so that's what i'll be using i will not be using these hearts right here so it comes with the die the actual die and then there's an outline piece that's going on here and then this is to make it decorative however once you see my papers you'll understand why i won't be using this part it's just really busy i'll also be using the baby words Number one, I'll be using the baby and the girl. So I've gone ahead and done some cutting already. I'm doing a voiceover because I have no idea where my sound went. Anyways, let's get started. I've cut out the dress in a thicker watercolor paper that I had laying around. So it's pretty thick and I wanted to use that as a base. I've cut it out again with this white shimmery paper using barely arts glue to securely glue that and adhere to the watercolor paper i want this to be very nice and thick because it's for my sister and her my four-year-old niece and because it's going to be in the hands of a little four-year-old i want it to be able to withstand we know that four-year-olds are not the most gentle little humans. Anyways, as you've seen right here, I did cut the dress pieces in a couple of different sizes. I mean, different colors. Because in my head, I have an idea of what to create. Here, I want the... There's two different pieces because I had two different size scraps. There is a little fold line on this dress that I want to make it roughly. So I had an idea that I would cut it in in a different color in the back, but I cut it in two different colors because I couldn't decide. Once I had all three colors here, I thought to myself, actually, I kind of like all three of them together. So adhering the polka dot on top of the white on top of the hot pink. Now there's the little fold lines that I was talking about. I'm going to cut the dress on the first fold line. That way you could see the ruffles of the white and the hot pink in the back. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do on both sides. I'm going to cut that off. This was a spur of the moment idea because sometimes crafts play well. The idea plays well in our head and it doesn't come out. But this one I was very happy with. I was actually able to use both of those little ruffles on the two different colors. I'm cutting off the belt piece because I won't need that showing. However, I do want it, like I said before, a little bit thicker on the top so that when my niece holds it, she, um, it's not flimsy and it's not that um, lightweight. It's got a good sturdy piece to it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that those little flaps aren't stuck together because I want them to kind of fluff out. Like any dress, we want it to fluff out. And I'm using this Barely Arts glue because it is my favorite. It gives so it's, I mean, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It tightens it. It holds it down very quickly. There is probably like a millisecond of wiggle room you have with that. But I know it's going to dry and it's not going to come apart without a good tug. So that's why I'm using that. And it plus... I've used my tape runner on some of these projects that I create 
it's not the same so i again i want this to be very sturdy now this is just a candle holder that i had laying around and i added some felt on the bottom and that's my press so let's add this to the main base piece i've also gone ahead and cut out the bottom piece right here because i wanted the hearts to show and i also wanted them to match the dress and because the dress is so busy with polka dots it was great to have your eyes kind of stop at the bottom and notice that they were little hearts there are some really great videos out here on youtube about featuring this dress specifically buzzing with v if you have not seen her wednesday adams dress series oh my gosh the layers this project has is amazing check out instagram as well for the hashtag scrap diva designs that dress is a freaking adorable i love it excuse my language anyways let's get back to the stand here and i did not cut out like i said before i think i said it the hearts that this die comes with because i wanted to show this paper this pattern paper Plus, with the polka dots on the dress, it's already busy. I didn't need to add it more busy. However, I did want to add a different color so that you could see the difference between the stand and the dress. Although I think that pink is the same as under the dress, which it's okay. There's little hints of that. So this is, now that this is super thick, because it's got chipboard piece under, plain paper, and then that mini patterned paper. I'm adding in the little details that come with this dress die, which is this little, cute, little, adorable bow. Tell me that doesn't look like Minnie Mouse's dress already, just like that. So cute. This is cut out of foam, and it's sparkly foam, so it makes it even cuter. I added this bow in, and I'm going to add the top of that bow. So this one is kind of to showcase the little tails, the little... That hang off of the bow and then this is the bow right here it does come with another die to add even more dimension to that bow however i didn't want to use it on this because the foam it just looked a little odd to me so i didn't add it but if i was using regular paper on this bow i would definitely use it using some pop-up squares to pop up that foam bow on each side and then that little piece right there is the middle of the bow which is really cute because again if I were to use the other piece on this bow it just looked bulky so this just using these three pieces it was good enough now I'm gonna add in the picture and it's so cute look at this my niece oh she was such a baby so that is a perfect picture that's why I wanted my my entire project to be pretty sturdy because my niece is going to touch it I've also gone ahead and cut out the baby girl words. I've already cut them out in foam and put them on the backing. I went through my little stash of flowers to see which flowers were going to be perfect. And I'm using both the edge flower and the sakura flower mixed into one. So I have a couple matching ones here, but I ended up using the ones that have the little stems in it and a sticker from Deso on that has that mini mouse and the sticker was a little bit flimsy so I did add it on some chipboard and to make it thicker because I was going to pop it up I think on a glued with a foam foam dot so that's pr that's how I'm going to layer it out now to glue all this cuteness on you see why this needs to be pretty thick because my niece is going to want to touch it and look at it and look at and admire her picture. So if she pops it off and on that stand, she's going to need this to be thicker. Look at this baby girl. Fun fact, my niece's middle name is Minnie because we are Disney geeks in my family and we name our children Disney characters. So my daughter is Daisy and my niece is Minnie, her middle name. So we have our Daisy and Minnie in our family. So that's 
a fun fact about that. Plus, my sister has always loved Minnie Mouse. She's got polka dot everything. Even regular clothing, she's got polka dots, which I love. And adding in those cute little flowers. They already had some glue dots on the back. These are extra flowers, again, from the Scrap Diva Design dies that I didn't use in other projects. So I just kind of have them in a little bowl and add little touches to whatever projects I have that these flowers would match with. I didn't do this but next time I use this dress and I put flowers on it I will be using the capsilla leaves from Scrap Diva Designs I've used it in other projects I think that just adds a cute little touch or even the Easter dies that have flowers I think there's one yes there's one that has like dragonflies and butterflies they have cute little stems on that one as well that I would use on this again if it wasn't for a four-year-old I would do that and it's pretty much done look at this the little ruffles on those on those um, sleeves now I'm using my ruler to help me fold this because if you remember I said this piece has chipboard in between both sides of the plain and patterned paper so it was pretty thick and that's exactly what we want now after that this is done it's perfect it's cute the backing is plain so that I can write something for my niece or even my sister, a little note. But thank you for stopping by and checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. All the descriptions for these dies are going to be in the description box below. And don't forget to use that code if you want to get a discount because these dies sell out as quickly as they come into the shop. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Until next time, bye!